what's up everyone we're uh another day um francis and i got the well attempted to get the clutch and pressure plate and all that on last night um come to find out the clutch was misaligned because i couldn't find my clutch alignment tool so i had this like socket thing that i put together which obviously didn't work because we did me and my brother attempted to put the trans in and we get halfway there and then it would get stuck and we dealt with that for like what an hour and a half something like that yeah so I, I pulled the whole thing apart actually sawed off the uh input shaft off of one of the many blown transmissions i have gotten over the years and uh used that as a um alignment tool so even though i don't want to hop on the, under the ground we will do this yeah trans is in place but if it'll adjust yeah clutch and flywheel are on and uh yeah we're just taking a quick break before we attempt to put this in again which my boot is all jacked up but whatever um yeah so hopefully this goes good all right so we got the transmission in the cressida starter fuel lines clutch all that and we've got francis here working on a Freaking Volkswagen in my garage. Not the first of many times. Yeah, we're just doing a once over before import face off and rolling some fanders. Are you having fun yet? No. I have to use an Allen wrench because nobody has a star bit in their garage. I don't work on German cars. You trying to tell me yours is Phillips? Yeah. Or, or an actual 10 mil bolt where I can just get a socket on hey, there. The Mark III had a 10 mil. The, the closest Actually, thing... Actually, it was like an 8 mil, but... The closest thing to being, I guess, German would be the Infinity, but even then, not really. Still a Japanese car. Or it? European. Only one way to find out. You want to know how I pulled that out on the G? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Stupid fender roller. I literally pulled it in front of the front wheel and then just rolled the car forward and ripped it off. <laughs> hey, I got a filter thingy in there. A filter thingy? That's gross. Is that your intercooler? It's, a, it's an intercooler. I it's like Porsche. It like an intercooler. Oh, look at my Porsche. What is this thing? Dude, look at all the mud! Where? Right there! Oh, yeah, dude. There you go. You can have that for the garage. Quality European. Is that a dirt. 10 mil bolt just in there? What? Where? Look on the on the right there, just hidden in the dirt, like bolted in. Where? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think body panels are uh, welded into this thing? No, man, they're all just bolted on. There's a lot of dirt in there, dude. What the fuck are those ball things? Some kind of reservoir. That's weird. Oh, I wonder if it's the um, drain for the sunroof. No. Yeah. Why would it just sit in there? I don't know. Francis's Volkswagen. Volkswagen. It's kind of weird the flattened out right there. Yeah, but it's it kind of makes sense because if you look at like the the GTRs, the R32s yeah. and stuff, they they have something similar. And then the factory piping for a 7M is kind of the same way, where they flatten out and have these weird bends. You think we could run boom tubes on this? Yeah. You know it's backed. Yeah. We just have to set the pressure. Early. So your so boom tubes will actually sit higher up because they're flat than a regular exhaust. That's why I want one for the Cressida. a good noise. <laughs> what? Okay. What? No, just Japanese cars, they usually got like a bolt that goes in like right there to connect to everything. Move. Is there? Oh yeah, look at that. I think it, that's one of the spots that holds the panel on so they combine the two. 
Eh, whatever. Yeah, because I'm just watching the bumper flex. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, so weird little recap. Um, Francis got his car taken care of. Got the fenders rolled. Um, I got a couple things done myself while he was doing that. Um, everything has fluids in it. Got the, yeah, you can see the bottle of coolant here. Um, oh. Downpipe is on. Uh, everything attached to that is connected. It's connected to the rest of the exhaust. Uh, turbo blanket also put on. And then I got the drive shaft and the shifter put in. I'm gonna go ahead and run. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try and run, see how it feels running the shifter that I made back in college. Um, I kind of like it a little more the way it threads on, because the threads are actually cut into the metal instead of having some kind of nylon or plastic insert. Like the, uh, I don't know where Francis put it. Like the Mishimoto one I have, because these are like universal ones, so they just have adapters for whatever you want to thread them into. Um, yeah, trunk trim put on, but that's not really relevant. Um, so all we got left to do is get the diff in, connect the axles and the drive shaft to that. Um, yeah, and we're not going to be starting the car tonight because my tuning cable for the ECU did not show up in the mail today. Hopefully it shows up tomorrow so we can get this thing going. But, yeah. Um, gonna wait till David gets here if he still plans to come over tonight to get the diff in. And, uh, I believe once that's in, the car is ready to go back on the ground, which will be pretty cool. So, we'll probably be tackling that tomorrow, putting the car on the ground, and hopefully loading up a, a base map. Base map, having first start, and maybe, uh, maybe taking it for a drive. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down. Kind of chill for a second until David gets here and uh, yeah, go from there. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so yeah, David and I got the diff in last night, pretty late. Um, so I didn't end up picking up the camera, but yeah, um, this is, I guess, the moment we've all been waiting for. I ran to the store this morning to go pick up a cable that will hopefully work um, for tuning this thing and we'll find out. This thing seems kind of short, but yeah, I've got the tuning software on my laptop, and we've got the battery hooked up. So, hopefully this is all good to go. Um, I kind of have a feeling this battery might be dead, but you never know. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this all set up, get in the car, and I guess start testing stuff. So... Uh, I'll see you guys in the car. Hey, what's up guys? It's been probably about an hour or so and I got the tune kind of set up. I'm just trying to check things because as always she's pranking. Um, I'm not sure if she's firing. I know she gets fuel. I had to kind of adjust the fuel pump wiring which I'm probably gonna have to wire it differently to an individual switch because I don't think the ECU is controlling it. Um, but yeah. Kevin is on his way to come help me because I can't really run the computer, keep an eye on the tune, and uh, do a runaround on the engine to check stuff to make sure um, to make sure that everything's running correctly. So, yeah, an extra set of hands would be pretty nice. Um, yeah, I don't know how to... I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to get the uh, ECU to actually control the fuel pump, because right now I've just been duct ta or taping it to the battery to get power to it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this down, figure this out. Um, if you got anyone who has a Turbo Cressida is curious on how to do this, I'll uh, 
put the link to the guide that I, uh, I found that helped me a lot with the wiring process and especially setting up, I guess, at least the basics for the base map. I'm not sure if it'll work for me yet because, I mean, the car hasn't even started, but yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, what's up, everyone? Um, so we're, I'm just now editing all the footage from the past couple weeks, and for the video where I was setting up the tune on the Cressida, um, didn't end up picking up the camera to close out the video, but we did run into some issues, um, which I think we'll find out today if I fix them, but the laptop's not in the car, the cable is. Um, I couldn't get an ignition signal um, which I think it was cause I've had this issue before where a certain point where I'd mount my igniter and coil, um, it wouldn't ground properly. So I put it back to where it was before we pulled the car apart and we'll find out if this works. I'm also got to play around with the wiring aspect of it cause the pin that it says in the guide, um, I don't think it was correct going off of the factory wiring diagram. So we're probably gonna end up just jumping this wire around to figure out which one will actually get me a trigger. Um, I guess going over it, I relocated the power steering pump for something that we will potentially touch on where I need more space down there by the engine. Um, but yeah, so this little, this little clip is just to close out this video. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll go from there, but I hope you guys are kind of enjoying this. Hopefully this thing starts soon, maybe today or tomorrow. I want to definitely get back in the garage. I also need to clean this place and uh, pull the G35 in to do uh, just a few things, a few little touch-up things, but yeah, I'll see you guys.